This past week, I was setting up a DAO for a project I'm working on, and I thought it might be kind of interesting to just show you all how to create one. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. So in the same way that cryptocurrencies are decentralized, a DAO is an organization that is automated and not controlled by any singular entity. It's represented by rules and code, so everything is transparent and controlled by organization members. Each member is given a token that represents shares of the DAO, and that token can be used to vote in the DAO to make decisions. Any member can submit a proposal and anyone else can vote on that proposal. This is especially useful for things like fundraising where everyone can vote on what to release the funds for and then they can literally watch the transactions going in and out on the blockchain so everything is transparent and everyone in the organization knows that the money was used for what it was supposed to be used for. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this and this concept has kind of been gaining popularity recently so we're going to talk about how you can create one really quickly and easily um, using DAO stack. So we are going to head over to DAOStack.io. DAOStack is basically tooling for helping you to easily create a DAO. So you can look through their documentation and they have lots of different information about the project and stuff if you're interested in learning about that. But we're just going to go ahead and click on launch a DAO. So MetaMask is a software wallet that you can access through the browser extension. It's pretty handy. So I have that up here. If you don't have MetaMask installed, you should go ahead and create a MetaMask wallet first in order to do this. Once you have your MetaMask wallet, you can actually create different profiles within MetaMask. So I have one created here for um, this DAO. It shows us up here that we have mainnet as our selected network. I'm just going to call this test DAO. And we'll just make up a TST symbol there. Now here in this configuration, you can customize some of the settings about your DAO. So you can see here, if you hover over these, this is gonna impact the speed at which the assets are distributed whenever a proposal is voted on. So you have anywhere from five up to 60 days, depending on if you care about the speed of asset distribution. I'm gonna leave the default selected for now. You can choose if you'd like the member who suggested a successful proposal to be rewarded with tokens. There's different types of incentives that you can add. I'm gonna leave the default for that. Then for now, I'm going to go ahead and just add my own wallet and set myself as a member. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Let's see what happens if we click install organization. Okay, so you'll notice here I have insufficient funds. I currently have zero ETH in my wallet right now. And the amount I would need is $637.71. Now that's kind of a lot and personally, I don't want to pay $600 to deploy this DAO right now. Um, <laughs> that feels like too big of an investment. Luckily, there is a solution for this. We're going to reject this transaction. Up here, you see there's the option to switch network to deploy in XDAI. So what is XDAI? Well, Let's look here at the documentation. XDAI is the name of the EVM, which stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine, the EVM chain and the stable native coin that lives on the chain. So it's an Ethereum side chain uh, and it implements a DPoS consensus. So DPoS stands for Delegated Proof of Stake. And that's just a consensus algorithm that's an advancement on the fundamentals of the proof of stake concept. DPoS systems are maintained by an election system for choosing which nodes verify blocks. So XDAI is used for stable transactions and low fees. So that's what we need here because our fees are currently through the roof with this Ethereum mainnet option. So we wanna go ahead and switch the network in our MetaMask wallet to a custom RPC. Back to the documentation, here are the custom RPC settings for how to add in the XDAI network. So we're gonna come back over here to the documentation and we're basically going to add XDAI network as a custom RPC in MetaMask. So I'm just gonna type in the information, right? And then save that and now, we have XDAI as an option in our MetaMask wallet. Now, in order to actually get some XDAI in our wallet, we're going to have to convert it from another coin like DAI, which is a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar. So if we come up here and we go to bridge.xdaichain.com and we connect our wallet. Now we just need to load some 
Ethereum and some dye into our MetaMask wallet and we can send both of those to our Ethereum address. And the reason why we need Ethereum is because we're going to need that for the network fees. So I'm gonna just pull up my Coinbase wallet really quick, buy some ETH. So make sure you select Ethereum mainnet in your MetaMask wallet and then you click buy. It'll give you the option to either use the uh, wire platform to buy uh, Ethereum directly with a debit card or you can deposit Ether uh, from an account that you already have. Since I already have an account on Coinbase, I'm gonna choose that option. Okay, literally Coinbase is having issues right as I'm trying to film this. Like Coinbase is literally down right in the middle of this video. Okay, well, Coinbase appears to be very down um, and Wire is actually not working as well. Um, they also have really high network fees that I don't really feel like paying right now. I, of course, have other Ethereum wallets that I could use and send money from, but that's too much work and honestly, I can't be bothered. I really wanted to show you how it works with Coinbase because that's just the easiest way to do it. But we'll just pretend for now. Um, sometimes this is really the story of how things are with DeFi right now. Basically, all you would need to do is send the ETH that you just purchased to the Ethereum address. You can literally just scan the QR code. It sends it right to your wallet. Then you can do the same thing with DAI. Purchase some DAI on Coinbase, scan the QR code, send it to your wallet. You can send it to that same Ethereum address. It'll pop up here that you now have a balance of DAI and you'll just click transfer. It'll convert that right over to XDAI. It's pretty quick. Then you'll come up to your MetaMask wallet. You'll switch from Ethereum mainnet back to your XDAI and you will see your balance right here. Then we'll come back over to our DAO. Make sure that XDAI is selected, and now we can see that we have Network XDAI displayed up here at the top of our DAO. So I'm just gonna fill out the information again, and then we'll click Install Organization. It'll pull up our wallet here. And of course we have insufficient funds since I didn't actually send any XDAI to my wallet, but you can see that the amount that we would owe is substantially less. So our gas price is seven guay, which guay is just a unit of measure for Ethereum. It's like 0 0.000032 US dollars or something. It's like tiny fractions of a cent. So our total that we would owe here, we're talking about cents and dollars versus hundreds of dollars. So much, much cheaper to deploy using the XDAI chain than Ethereum mainnet and super easy to do. All you do is press confirm here and you would end up on a screen here on the Alchemy platform that would just show you your DAO. So let's click on one here. This one has 55 members. You would end up on a screen like this that would show you the name of your DAO, the network, and different options to create a proposal, any proposals that have already been created and what their status is. You can easily click to set up a new proposal. You, you need to be a member, obviously. You'll see uh, any holdings that are being stored in your DAO. And you can browse through different DAOs that already exist. You can follow for updates. And that's pretty much it. Um, this obviously would have been a bit cooler if Coinbase had actually worked, but it's probably for the best because I already just paid to deploy one of these a um, couple days ago. But as you can see, it is super easy to create a DAO using DAO Stack. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was at least somewhat helpful if you're looking to create a decentralized autonomous organization. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lisk is organizing the second edition of Blockchain Day, which will be one of the official events during Berlin Blockchain Week. Everybody is invited. Come and share your passion for developing blockchain applications. Blockchain Day is a special event for both developers and Web3 enthusiasts when they can learn more about the space and discover the most exciting insights from the industry. The event takes place on Wednesday, September 14th at the Lisk Center in Berlin. Expect panel discussions on interoperability with Web3 professionals, get insights from blockchain enthusiasts and learn from investors' background. Plus, get ready for an exciting dive into Lisk SDK. Join an evening filled with blockchain knowledge sharing and networking combined with some food and refreshments. It's a free event. To participate, you just need to register on the Meetup page, link in the description. Don't wait, take this opportunity to join the Berlin blockchain scene on Blockchain Day.